Well, hello and welcome to this week's EFT tapping video. In this week's video, we're going to be doing some tapping for abundance, whatever that means to you. And also a reminder that we live in abundant world and needs are always met and everything will be provided to us maybe not in the way we expect and it's about re-establishing that sense of faith that things will work out in a positive way so if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe and hit the notification button and if you if you really enjoy these videos and get benefit from them please consider donating and buy me a cup of tea and the link is in the description below and if you're new to tapping there's also a video link in the description which explains all about the tapping points and a bit about how it works so the first thing to do then is turn off distractions give this time to yourself for some self-care and making your own needs a priority so feeling your your feet on the ground whether you're sitting or standing taking some deep breaths just to come into the present moment and if you like you can just close your eyes for a minute and just tune in to the body and how abundant you're feeling today whatever that means for you this is subjective so 10 is completely abundant you've got everything you need and zero is it's terrible i have nothing sorry the other way around 10 is where you know oh it's awful i'm completely overwhelmed i've got nothing and zero fine zen everything's perfect um it just goes to show that i'm used to do we do a lot of tapping on the negative stuff don't we rather than the positive and I think it's important to do to remember to reinforce the positive stuff as well so now you've got your number and then that's just a little guide to see if anything shifted afterwards it, it's nothing scientific so we start by tapping on the side of the hand and it doesn't matter which side you do it and just follow along repeat after me and if it feels right to you you can replace any of my words with ones that feel more true to you even though i may have some fears and negative beliefs about not having enough. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I see abundance around me, sometimes fear hijacks and I get afraid and I sink into a lack mentality but I still completely and deeply love and accept myself even though I sometimes think that I'm never going to have enough and I forget to be grateful for what I already have I completely and deeply love and accept myself eyebrow point I feel grateful for what I have side of the eye everything that provides for my needs on a daily basis I 
front of the eye. I'm grateful for my food. I'm grateful for my home. Under the chin, I'm grateful for my clothes. Collarbone. And I'm grateful for everything that helps me get through the day. Under the arm. And I choose to focus on what I have rather than what I don't have. Top of the head. And even if there are some things that I would like that I don't have, I bear point, I might not have them in my life right now. Side of the eye, I choose to have faith that my needs will always be met. under the eye, even if it's in ways that I wasn't expecting. Under the nose, even if it were things that I hadn't planned. Chin, even if it's things that I didn't want. Collarbone, I choose to be grateful for everything that comes my way. Under the arm. I'm even grateful for the challenges in my life. top of the head, because I can choose to learn lessons from them. Eyebrow points. And I know that helps me to become a better and stronger person. Side of the eye. And that makes the world a better place. Under the eye, I choose to remember that what I focus on expands. Under the nose, so I no longer want to focus on what I don't have. I choose to focus on all the blessings in my life. Collarbone. And I choose to move past anything that's blocking me from abundance. Into the arm. I choose to let go of those beliefs and thoughts that tell me that the world isn't abundant. Top of the head. And instead, I choose to focus on all the abundance around me. Eyebrow point, abundance in nature. Side of the eye, animals don't worry about where their next meal is coming from. Under the eye, so I choose to have faith that even if I don't have everything I need right now,
under the nose, that I am resourceful and creative. Chin. And what I focus on expands. Collarbone. So by focusing on what I already have, under the arm, and being grateful for what I have, top of the head, I have faith that my needs are always being met. Tapping and take a deep breath. And tune in again where zero is everything perfect and ten is like, oh, stressed, anxious. And where do you fall on that scale now in terms of feeling abundant and grateful? And hopefully the number's gone down from before. And if it hasn't, you can always do the tapping rounds again with my words or with your own. Because each time you do it, you're releasing more of those stuck negative emotions and energies and freeing up um, space in your body for healing and, and receptivity. And I wish you well. And hopefully see you again very soon on my next video. But in the meantime, take care, go well and lots of love.